In this video, let's try to make our page look a bit nicer by making it a bit more responsive. So I'm going to start by seeing our container. Initially, we'll have a padding line of 25 viewport width. Save it. And now we have a lot of white space here. So we need more media queries. So we're going to say, let me just copy this line. So control C and paste it. Control V. So here we're going to say at the max width of 1280 pixels. So 1280 pixel. Our container will have a padding let me just type it so dot container so our container will have a padding in line so padding let me just copy this control C and paste it control V and let's say the container will have a padding in line of 18 viewport width after that I'm going to copy this whole thing so I'll chip down and this time the max width will be 1050 pixel so max width of 1050 pixel the max width will be 12 viewport width and then when it is 760 pixels so max width is 760 pixels let me just copy this let me paste it let's say here control z the max width will be 6 viewport width so i'm going to say 6 viewport width and finally again let me just copy this one final time copy this and paste it below so control z and at the max width of 480 pixels so at smaller screen the padding in line will be let's say 3 viewport width save it and now we have good amount of padding on almost all screen sizes like so and on smaller screen we want this to be one column each so here we're going to say our section so at 768 pixel max we're going to say our section let's target the column inside that so dot call so they will have a width of 100% so 100% save it should be call not con and let's try to refresh okay let's see why it is not working so we are going to say flex wrap to wrap so we're going to say flex dash wrap to wrap by default it is no wrap so now this is how this looks like okay now let's go to again let's go to our media query so which is here okay we're going to say they will have no padding so we're going to say padding of zero we're also going to say exclamation mark important to overwrite any previous styles and then we're going to say the text align so text align of center like so let's say they will also have some margin on the bottom so margin bottom of 2 em and this is how they look like which is much better now this list here i want them to be in line like so so let's do that first let's target that so in our partials folder we're going to go to our improve section so as you can see they have a class name of skill item so let's copy this so control C skill item let's go to our media query let's target that so we're going to say skill item we're going to say display of inline dash block okay it is working so let's say this will have some margin on the right side so we're going to say margin right of 1 em this is how they look like let's see okay let's say the margin bottom of 1 em also so let's say margin bottom okay let's also target our button so here we're going to say dot skill section button so here is our improved skills and we're going to target the button And the button will have a display block so we're going to say display block save and this is how this look like but i want this button to be in the middle so we're also going to say margin left so we're going to say margin left of 50 percent and then we're also going to say transform of translate x so translate x of negative 50 percent so negative 50 percent save and now button is also in the center let's just say margin instead of left and right save so now we have a bit more margin or white space okay let's try to make it 0.75 let's see if that looks any better let's refresh and i think 0.75 should be good enough and everything else is looking good except for our footer so let's target our footer now so we're going to say dot footer and here we're going to say grid template column so we're going to say grid template column and here we're going to say repeat we're going to repeat it four times and we're going to say one fr save okay now we want this section here to take the entire width so this one is to have a grid span of four 
so let's target that so we're going to say let me go to our footer here we have the footer section so let me copy this so we're going to say dot footer section and we're going to target the first child so we're going to say in child one and here we're going to say grid column so grid column and here we're going to say span four so it will span across the entire four column and as you can see it spans across the entire four column and then we're going to target the rest of the two so let me just copy this control c we're going to paste it two times so one two so then we're going to target this second and third child so we're going to say two and finally three so third child let me close the sidebar now let's say they will have a grid column so grid column of we're going to say span and they will span two columns so save and this is how they look like so our footer is also responsive now and everything else is also responsive the nav bar and everything else but as you can see something is wrong here so let's go to our sidebar so our sidebar is in the nav bar section so let me just open my side sidebar and go to our nav bar and in the nav bar we have this sidebar let's give it a z index so actually let's see if we have given a z index to our nav bar first so our nav bar does not have any z index so let's give it a z index let me just cut this and here we're going to say this will have a z index so z dash index and the z index can be let's say 998 for our nav bar let me copy this and let's target our sidebar so this is our sidebar let's give our sidebar a z index as well so our sidebar will have a z index of 999 so more than our nav bar save and now our nav bar is above everything else in our finished project you'll see our nav bar is fixed on the top but in our current project the nav bar is not fixed so let, let's make it fixed also so here we are going to say our nav bar will have a position position will be fixed and the width will be 100 percent so we're going to say width of 100 percent so now our nav bar is fixed but now our text is hidden behind the nav bar so our nav bar has a height of 55 pixels so in our index.scss let's target our body so our body will have a padding top so we're going to say padding top of 55 pixel and let's go to our nav bar and our nav bar will have a top of zero so we're going to say top zero and now everything looks good and it is working as we intended our nav bar is fixed our sidebar is also working nothing is coming over what it should so i think that should be all for this video in the next video we are going to implement the react router so i'll see you in the next video